Hi everyone, it's Holly with Hollyberry Designs. I'm going to share a quick tip today on um, something that drives me nuts, which is I'll create a project and then a couple months later I'll be looking through my projects trying to get some ideas for something new and I'll see a font that I just love and I'll have welded that font so it won't tell me in design space what that font was anymore. And I have to spend all this time hunting for those fonts. So I've come up with a quick little way to ease that frustration and save myself a lot of time. So I created um, this um, little saying today, in my dream world, vinyl is free and crafting makes you skinny. I'm sure a lot of us would love if that was true. Um, but what I did is I went ahead and I did um, an extra little font next to all of the words telling me what font I used for every single one. Because what's going to happen, like I said, is once all of this is um, welded together so that it will all cut together, none of my fonts are going to show up. So currently, if I'm looking at my in my dream world, it's telling me that that's Sunny Dino. But as soon as I attach these together, attach everything first. I don't know why, but I always go through and I attach things first and then I weld. And I know I'm missing that is, but we'll see if we, there we go. Attach that in. Grab the free. And so I'm going through and getting this ready. And what's going to happen, if you haven't noticed this before in your own work, is that you will lose, once I'm done with this, all of the font names. So right now I've got all these fonts listed there. It looks all real nice. I can look up any of them. Um, but the mo And you can see that on any of the ones that are attached, it's telling me what they are. But I'm about to do something that's going to take all that away. And I'm going to weld it because I want it all perfectly together. I want it to stay right and I want it to cut together. And what happens now is this piece right here, I have my weld result, all my fonts are gone. So um, I wanted to know what they were. Now, obviously, we don't want all of these to cut out or print or whatever it is you're doing with your project. So the next thing I do is I go through and I just grab them and attach them together. And, and sometimes it's when it's being fussy. One of the easiest ways to do that is to just go along and grab them over here. And I'm just seeing shift and grabbing each of them and again hitting shift see sometimes it's fussy so sometimes it's just easier to do it over here so grabbing all of those attaching them and then we'll grab So I can grab both of my attached sections here. Again, just hitting them and I'm clicking, um, I'm holding the shift key down when I click, click them and then I'm gonna weld them together. And so now I have two different things, two different weld results. So I can take this one and pull it aside. Um, and, but what I know is that I do not want these to cut out. So all I'm gonna do here, my quick tip is I'm just going to Click that little eye and they're gone. So, and that's how I leave my project when it's saved. But when I go in and I'm wondering what font did I use for crafting, all I've got to do is click on that eye and it's going to come back up and tell me that it was CADEX script that I used for that. Um, so just a quick way to make sure that I don't drive myself crazy trying to find that perfect font. Because sometimes it gives it puts me in a bad mood and then I don't want to craft and gosh, we just don't want to have that. So hopefully this is a tip that helps you guys and have a great day. Have fun crafting.